Okay guys, I'm back in QQ Speed Mobile. So in this video, I'm gonna review Eternal Night Monarch with Awakening. Eh? Uh, I got this car from the free A car event. The event is here. I literally had one car left. So I automatically get Eternal Night Monarch, the best car in this event. But this is for my WeChat server. I will also do Vulcan. That will be another video. I've already reviewed Eternal Night Monarch full modded with Infinity Chip in my GSTCC video. I compared what is before Infinity Chip and after Infinity Chip. But since there's a buff, uh, garage buff, eh? if you have so a certain amount of A cars, you get this buff, that buff. So the speed might be different now. Eh? So first, I'm gonna test without the awakening. There's no awakening yet, zero. Test full modded with Infinity Chip. Okay, modding is middle, left, left, and left. And let's see uh, how how much difference is it with the without the garage buff. Okay, so what is the speed originally plus the garage buff? So without awakening, let's test this out. So full modded with infinity chip, no awakening. Normal speed is 201.7 CW is 311.1 Alright I forgot there's an 18 stack Well, I have to test it again I forgot about the 18 stack <laughs> Hold on Okay, wait Normal speed 201.7 If I double boost Two point three, yeah. Okay, Let's test it again. What is the first CW? Three one one point one, correct. Again, three one two point three. Three one two point nine, yes. So every CW I do is plus 0 0.6. So 2.1.1 was correct. So after 18 stacks, it doesn't show how many boosts have I done. Eh? Usually it shows, right? Okay, I'm pretty sure that's 18 already. CW 315.9 18 times 0 0.3 5.4 If it's 5.4 That means the original speed is supposed to be 310.5 Ah, yeah, yeah, okay So CW is actually originally 310.5 Because I did CWW the first time you get plus 0 0.6, that's why it's 311.1 Okay, so yeah, without any ability, uh, not even the mini boost, the first two mini boosts, it will be 310.5 base uh, CW, but it will go to 311 because uh, of its ability. So the first CW is already 311.1. Uh, eh? One, two, three, four. 5, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. CW, 315.9, yes. WCW, 298. Just normal speed is 207.2. Double boost 251.8 and WCW 320.4. Four. That is after you get the 18 stacks. Eh? Uh, okay, I'm looking back at the old tier ranking. The You can say it's just the old tier ranking. Eternal Night Monarch says here CW supposedly 309.2, eh? but I tested it was 310.5. And I believe it's the uh, garage's buff. Lah. The garage's buff increases the speed like by 1.4 or was it 
3 just now was 1.3 not really 1.4 this is mini boost max speed this is base max speed so i think that is what affected uh the speed increase uh, that that's why we had to guess eh? it's not exactly plus 1.4 because that was 1.3 actually eh? the difference so supposed to be 309.2 CW without any uh, mini boost skill but we tested it it's supposed to be 310.5 so yeah garage buff eh? garage buff so any review that comes from QQ there's like a plus one kilometer uh, difference because of the garage buff okay all right anyway that is for inf uh, infinity chip full modded eh? What happens if we awaken Eternal Night Mode? I need to buy how many more? 49 44, 43 actually And there we go So another increase Base max speed plus 0.4 Mini boost max speed plus 0.6 Base power plus 3 Nitro power plus 1.3 Mini boost power plus 3.2 And charge time plus 0.3 So how good is it now? Let's take a look Normal speed 202.1 Let me do the first CW 311.9 So speed increase 0 0.8 eh? From 311.1 become 311.9 That means the CW without any mini boost, it's now 311.3. Wow, <laughs> okay. Uh, I think it's best to stack 18 boosters. That should be 18 already. So let me test again normal speed 207.5. Double boost. 252.7 WCW 298.6 and the CW right now 316.7 WCW 321.3 okay that's like a 0 0.8 kilometer increase eh? already 311 without any uh, skill yet it's just the garage buff, awakening buff, and infinity chip buff. I'll say it's worth getting if it's free. <laughs> okay, let me test this in a few rank games. Eh? Any map will do because this car is uh, skill is based on mini boost, mini mini boost stack. So any map is okay. A lot of old cars are getting awakened. Eh? Okay. Ooh, I just overtook. Ah, wrong way. <laughs> it's fine. Nice. After 18 boosts, this car speed is like a T car. Eh? For real. <laughs> if I get flat map, also I don't mind. 
Okay, Nishan Stein. Let's go. Let's try. Hehehe. <laughs> Tikas. Bring it on. Let's see. I even got ISO and Starlight. Okay. Can we defeat this uh, meta cars? Oh no. Oh. Ah, no. Okay, let's stop. Hey. Okay, we can come back. We can come back. Oh no. Ah. Uh, uh, that was a mistake. That was my mistake. <laughs> Sorry guys. Uh okay. <laughs> this is a Troy car. We get a Troy map. Oh. Hey, what happened? Oh no. Okay, okay. Okay then, well, speaking of try map, just a uh, solo run.
<laughs> Not bad. <laughs> 128. Nice. Dude. Okay, guys. I think that's it for Eternal Night Monarch Full Modded Infinity Chip and Awakening. Definitely worth it if you got Eternal Night Monarch for free. For Gacha. I guess it's alright. Though I still, if it's Gacha Workshop, uh, I still prefer getting S League cars, okay? Might as well get this from the free event. But getting this free from the free event might be tough, eh? Because uh, for me, it was like this was the only car left. Uh, Eternal Night Monarch was the only car left, so it's a guarantee that I will get Eternal Night Monarch. For my other account, I don't get this because I had like three cars that I have not get. So that's how I got Vulcan for my other server. Yeah, you need, you must have free Renault, the Saint Seiya free car, Emperor free car, Moonlight Goddess free car, Shadow Razor free car. I think all these are free cars, right? And then at the top is Flash, Burning Needle, so Flash you can get from supplies. Burning Needle, well that's an old event, so I think most people don't have Burning Needle, you might <laughs> have a problem there. Polar Armor, ah this is the, the thing in my QQ server, Vulcan and Polar Armor. The trick is to get Vulcan here, from this gacha. So you're aiming for an A car, uh, select the A car that you actually want to skip from that event so let's say not sure if flash is here i don't think so yeah flash is not here these are all the, the old diamond cars eh? so there's vulcan here polar armor isn't here so you can take you can take vulcan here so you can skip vulcan that's what i did in this server eh? i picked vulcan so that i will not get vulcan in the event that's one wishing fountain eh? this one i got polar armor from here i exchange it from here so you have to, if you are like almost done with this uh, gacha, you're almost like to the top, nearly 800, go for it. Use it all, exchange with Polar Armor to get Polar Armor out of the event. So that's why I got guaranteed Eternal Night Monarch. That's the trick. Eh? So <laughs> you need to eliminate some cars that you can get somewhere else. So that you will guarantee get the car you want. Unfortunately, I cannot do that in my QQ server because of this. My magic, uh, sorry, my wishing fountain luck is so low, I cannot go to 800 and get polar armor. So definitely polar armor, I cannot skip it. So I decided not to gacha Vulcan from that from that uh, gacha. That's how I got the Vulcan. <laughs> okay, that's that's how I did. But in WeChat server, I can, so that's what I did. So you guys, uh, if you still haven't done this uh, event yet. This one ends at 23rd October, so there's still some time. You have to get rid of all the 9 cars in the list. That means you must get the others permanent. Only then you can get Eternal Night Monarch guaranteed. Unless you are lucky, like, uh, you still have a lot of cars that you haven't gotten permanent. But if you got Eternal Night Monarch by luck, oh, that is really, really lucky of you. <laughs> but if it's one car left, then it's guaranteed. Okay? Yeah, so it's a play of events, huh? Just checking here, all the A cars here. Yeah, these are the A cars you must have in order to get Eternal Night Monarch. You must skip everything else to guarantee this car. And that's how I got it. Well, this is QQ. If GST brings out this event and it's the same car, well, you know what to do. <laughs> but if it's a different car, then yeah, you have to start, uh, make sure that you have those cars. That's why I said, uh, don't skip any voucher car, like uh, if you want a free diamond A car like this. <laughs> and Eternal Night Monarch is so good. Eternal Night Monarch, when during adjudicator time, eh, it is the top ranking number 9. And now it has awakening. So with awakening, it can be as good as a T car. So, oh, worth it. <laughs> worth it. Worth spending for the Falcon and getting Polar Armor so that I can get this. Worth it. <laughs> okay, I think, uh, yeah, I think that's it for this Eternal Night Monarch review. And uh, yeah, if you guys already have Eternal Night Monarch in, let's say, in GST, time should be soon, you will get Awakening for Eternal Night Monarch. Your car will be even more buff. <laughs> I think this is like one of the first, uh, besides SPX, uh, SPX and this car is like the top cars that even get uh, more buff. By the awakening, you have this car, oh, you can awaken some more. Uh, your car is even better. <laughs> Alright, 
okay this is uh this has gone quite long enough so i think that's it for this review thank you guys for watching see you guys next time